Oklahoma official is facing backlash over his inflammatory comments against Muslim Americans. Sequoia County Times reports that Oklahoma State Representative John Bennett said that Islam is a, quote, cancer that must be cut out of the American society, and that the goal of Muslims is, quote, the destruction of Western civilization from within. Now, Bennett told this to a group of 100 people last week, but he protected his comments by adding that he was not advocating for violence against anyone. However, that's not the message that's come across. Soon after, Muslims in the state began receiving death threats. And one of them was the executive director of the Council on American-Islamic Relations in Oklahoma, Adam Soltalny. And Adam joins us now to discuss this. And on the phone, we have Oklahoma State Representative John Bennett. Uh, Representative, let us start with you. Do you still stand by your comments? Oh, absolutely. I stand behind them wholeheartedly. And why is that? Uh, when, when you say that you think that Islam or Muslims are a cancer on this country, you are attacking uh, an entire group of people solely based on their religion. Well, first off, I never said Muslims uh, were a cancer. I said Islam. The paper falsely um, reported that, and they did a retraction the next day to clarify what I actually said. Um, and Islam is. I Islam's, I would even submit to you that Islam's not even a religion. It's a social political system that uses a deity to advance its agenda of global conquest. And that's exactly what ISIS is doing now. And people that follow Islam, individuals that follow Islam, is what are and will do the same thing because it's clearly stated numerous, numerous um, verses about violence and using violence to, uh, to further an Islamic state. All right, well, I'm going to let Adam, who's from CARE, uh, respond to that. Uh, well, thank you for having me. Um, I appreciate the chance to be on the show and, and uh, talk about our concerns. You know, it's, it's really concerning to me uh, that Representative Bennett would say that uh, Islam is a cancer. And, and, and to try and differentiate between Islam and Muslims, it's not even possible. I mean, Islam is our faith, and a Muslim is one who adheres to the faith. Um, and to say that I'm not against Muslims, but I'm against Islam is really one and the same. And uh, he gets it wrong. You know, on last Monday night, he said that 90 percent of the, and I'm reading directly from the quotes in the paper, 90 percent of our, our faith, our, our holy book, and, and our teachings are about violence. And he followed it. I mean, he said the thing about, you know, uh, Muslims being a cancer or Islam being a cancer. Either one is just as bad. He followed up on a, on a nightly news broadcast uh, here in Oklahoma City the following night by saying, if they are Muslim Americans and they subscribe to Islam, they are just as bad as ISIS. And I'm quoting that verbatim. And that was him speaking over the phone to the news broadcast. And it's really concerning that um, He's trying to compare our religion to something that is evil and, and trying to demonize it uh, by making false claims. Uh, nowhere in our holy book does it give permission to kill innocent people. In fact, it even refutes the whole idea of, of um, harming anyone who is innocent uh, by saying to kill one innocent person as if you killed all humanity. Um, and, and to say that a holy book where 99.9% .9 .9 of the book does not even address issues of warfare or fighting. Uh, it is just unbelievable. I mean, the holy book, just like any other holy book, addre addresses issues of, of warfare and defending your family, defending uh, your, your property, and defending yourself, but not fighting people for no reason or hurting innocent people. And the whole idea of, of CARE having any association to the Muslim Brotherhood is just ludicrous because CARE is an organization founded in the United States by American Muslims for American Muslims to protect our civil liberties and to stand up for what is right. And we've proven that with our track record. And Adam, tell us about, uh, you say you started receiving death threats after these comments were made by Representative Bennett. What kind? Uh, I've received a very direct phone call, uh, you know, in my two years, uh, two plus years working with CARE here in Oklahoma, and I was a founding board member, so I've really been with the organization for eight years. I've never received a direct threat at all. Um, I received a phone call from an individual who said, uh, asked if I was a director of CARE, and I said yes, and he said that he, felt, uh, he thinks I should be beheaded, and so should every other Muslim in America. Um, this came following that, that uh, nightly news broadcast in which uh, Representative Bennett said that uh, if they are Muslim Americans and subscribe to Islam, they're just as bad as ISIS. Um, it was really scary because I never received such a direct threat. Uh, I did report it to local authorities and they said they would look into it, but it's just concerning. You know, I've, I've, I've taken some 
extra precautions, keeping my office door locked and uh, kind of looking over my shoulder because I'm worried. You know, my, my face is, is all over the media and I realize that comes with the territory, but um, I don't think that these kind of comments have, have encouraged people to want to embrace diversity um, and unfortunately have, have led to this.